Good morning guys, I am here in Khiva and this is the minara behind me called Kelta, Kelta right? Kelta minara which is uh, in, in Uzbek means like short minara basically Look at this, it's beautiful And next to it there is this very historical building which is actually turned to the hotel and I received a request and offer to check it out inside what's there so that's what we're gonna do right now as you can see it's super quiet and super early this is the entrance of the hotel hello hi <laughs> what was your name Mukhadas. Mukhadas. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice Th to meet you. Thank you so much for showing us around. Of course, if you want, I will show of the rooms. Okay, this is the entrance yes. and the reception area. Do you have uh, guests right now? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay, yes. perfect. From that way. Okay. There is a big courtyard. Our hotel is uh, 78. There are 78 rooms. 78 and rooms. We can get 156. People, people. Night, yeah. wow. Including breakfast. And how old is this building? It's, uh, it was built in 1851. 1851. Amazing. 1854. Amazing. Wow. Downstairs rooms are smaller than upstairs, but upstairs rooms is bigger and uh, it, they have a balcony. You can see very nice view. Oh, nice. We can check that out. It's a standard twin room, but it's smaller and there is inside everything oh beautiful not very big but has most people like the rooms yeah because it's like um, you have you have everything you, you need feel, you can feel exotic exactly. that's why you can enter here okay this is the toilet oh there is a bath even yeah. wow and how much is the costs of it's, uh, this room like per night yeah per night uh, for two people it's 47 dollars yeah. 47 yeah. dollars yeah. yeah which is a uh, normal price like in, i think in europe even you can get around 40 dollars something yeah, yeah yeah but for two people right yeah, with yeah. the breakfast yeah yeah with breakfast perfect and our restaurant is um, also a madrasa which is situated next mm -hmm. to us there's another madrasa most people like our breakfast yeah okay <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay, maybe next time I come to Khiva, no I will problem. I will stay of here. Of course, of course. Maybe you can recommend that us. So this used to be a madrasa, yes, like people used to study, study here. It was like just kind for of... boys. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, like Only for boys. Yes. Only like for a secondary boys. secondary school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a big courtyard. It's beautiful. The big big uh, bakhcha, how to say the yeah. garden. <laughs> Amazing. And you said you have also upstairs rooms. Is yeah. it the same or? Uh, no, it's a little bigger and there is a nice view, balcony, you can see outside. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. If so, you want, I will show one Yeah, of it would be nice. So this is the second floor and this is beautiful view to the garden as well. It's crazy. I'm happy that actually they switched to the hotel and actually they are taking care of the building. I mean, they make money, of course, here, but they also take care of the building, which is amazing to keep it for other uh, generations. This is the second room. Yeah. We have double bed, mirror, small table. And I think this takes us to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, first uh, this is the bath here and there's a toilet and then view to the outside to the Khiva. Okay. Amazing. Uh, this is the restaurant right in front. Yeah. Yeah. Great, that looks amazing. Small balcony, like this small, but you can sit and get some fresh air. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. A, it's kind of windy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, beautiful. And there are these small holes when you need to bend over, <laughs> not to hit your head. Wow, I cannot imagine to wake up every morning to this. Amazing. 
And this hotel is connected to Kelta Tower, Kelta Minara. And hopefully I will find a manager and get an approval to, to climb it to the upstairs, which is normally not allowed, but let's see if it will be kind of possible. What's the manager's name? Okay. Dania. Dania. Yes. Okay. Okay, very exciting. Uh, I have the approval from the manager and yes, this is the Minara. We will be climbing all the way up. And another thing I wanted to show you is the doors. Are, they are massive. Look at this. This is like wooden doors. This wide. And it's quite actually hard to pull it, close it and open it. But it's beautiful, look at this handwork. And they kept it well, so... I mean, some people might be critical saying that why such a historical building switched to the hotel, but again, they, ca they take care of it, they reconstruct, they spend money on the building, which uh, makes it last longer for next generations. So I love the idea, I mean, and it's beautiful to wake up just uh, in a historical madrasa. Okay, adventure starts here. Okay, this is gonna be many stairs, I think. Oh, there are rooms as well here on the right. This is the one. Okay. Seat. Wow. Let's do this. Okay, okay. I will connect to you later, guys. Uh, after so many stairs, here we are. Wow. Take some pictures and then we'll connect with you later guys. This is the hotel which I showed you the rooms. Beautiful view as well. So I just learned you can actually see the Turkmenistan part not too far away uh, from the Khiva. Uh, at, the, at the edge of the city then there is a desert and then after the desert it's basically Turkmenistan. Beautiful. I'm happy to get such an opportunity to be here. Amazing. There's no you should be quite careful because there are like antennas and things. But otherwise it's quite safe. Beautiful. Yes. Not the easiest place to climb for pictures or for video. But it was definitely worth it.
Спасибо большое. Пожалуйста. Как тебя зовут? Хусейн. 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 Yeah. Спасибо. Хусейн был супер nice too. Take me all the way up there. I love this. This is very iconic building in Hiva and actually in Uzbekistan. Yeah, it's actually started to be built and after four years the founder was dead. So this building kind of like incomplete. And the basic idea in the beginning was to build the biggest minara. So at the end you can see uh, Bukhara from Hiva, which I think kind of impossible for that times, but there was a vision, which is beautiful. I basically love this country. I love people here. I love the food. I love the culture and all the history behind every place you go in this country. It's amazing. I've been in Tashkent, Bukhara, uh, then I was in Samarkand, and now I'm in Khiva and I just love it. It's amazing. That's where I was. This is the Minara, which is around maybe 30 meters tall. So there was lots of stairs to climb, but it was definitely very beautiful to, to visit and have a look to the Khiva. And you could see also the Turkmenistan border, which is amazing. Anyway, this is end of the video here and I will see you in the next video from Uzbekistan. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.